Okay, task four. We'll break this into two parts, um, just because I can't get over all of it into one on one page. But let's begin here again. If you have reviewed, if you remember, if you review the time series, the video on time series, I think a lot of the mock questions we did, a lot of the um, exam kit questions, really helpful for this um, understanding here. And of course, the point really is again. Um, the point here is that a trend is very much what's actually happening on the line. And then you have the, I'll just put the, I mean, this is the trend, right? Trends are built on on being able to extrapolate and being able to predict. And you have actual events happening around a line, right? Actual events happening, and that's how we get the trend. So we derive the trend from the actual events. And also we derive those trends also by this idea of variation. So we know we can almost work out, we, if we're given, we can kind of almost work out what the variation is <clears throat> around that trend. So um, so the first thing I wanted to highlight really is that really when we, the actual event, actual events can be above or below trends, right? They can be above or below trends. And so if it's above a trend, we, we, we you, you can, I suppose, use the idea of plus. And if it's below the trend, you can use the idea of minus. So just looking at this, it says the JT is a manufacturer table below shows information about its sales. The underlying trend has shown sales grow by 20,000. So they're telling us that, 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 that they're giving us the, if you like, the trend, which is kind of good because we just know from here um, that this means that if the actual here, if, if the trend is 180 and the actual is 168, it means that the actual is below the trend Right, the actual is below the trend by the difference, which here must be 12. <clears throat> because, and again, remember that actual is equal to trend plus seasonal. So whether you talk about it from a, from a, um, whether you talk about it from a, the seasonal adjusted trend here, so um, it's, this is 12 below, sorry. So this is 12 below. Yes, that's right. The actual is 12 below. That's what this is saying. That the actual is twelve below the <clears throat> the the actual is twelve below the actual the, the seasonal. The actual is twelve below the trend, right? And this one hundred and sixty eight is twelve below one hundred and eighty. That's the point. This is your actual, and sorry, this this is your trend, of course. And this 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 line is your trend, and and this is your actual. Here, what we see here, this is a, this this tells you that the actual is ten above your trend, right? So this is above your trend, and so what this is telling us here is here is your trend, and the actual is six below the trend, and that's two hundred and fourteen. That's what this is saying, that the actual is six below the trend. So that's what this plus and minus business really is all about, and you have that. Good. Then this next question goes on to talk about um, time series, moving averages. I don't even remember doing many of these in the actual um, exam kit questions, but you might remember this if you have done budgeting, that what you're really doing is you can find the average. You can almost create another graph and almost find the average of these events. So this is um, asking you to, first of all, um, find a five moving average. So find the average of one, two, three, four, and five. Find that average and then do the same thing, but you're moving. So let's do that the first time. So that's 2,500 plus 2,650 plus 2,700 plus 2,600 plus 2,550 divided by five. That's the first one. I'm gonna change my pen color to show you what the next one would be. The next one would be this, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna now do the same thing, 2,650 plus 2,700 plus 2,600 plus 2,550 plus 2750 divided by 5, and your, th this answer in blue would be here, and this answer in red would be here. So let's do the red one first. <clears throat> let's add this to it really quickly. Um, what do we have? 2500 plus 2650 plus 2700 plus 2600 plus 2550 25, divided by 5 gives you 2600. So this is so this is 2,600. And then with your blue one, what you see here is the other way. You have 2,650 <clears throat> plus 2,700 plus 2,600 plus 2,550 plus 2,750, which is 13,250 divided by 5. And here you have here 2,650. 
right? And that's how we manage uh, we manage this sort of scenario. And O graph is revision for delay. And this is these are nice four marks. So you want to make sure you pick all of them up. Make sure you're very clear as to what's taking place. Okay. So super. I'll call this part one of task four.